It's easy to write off functional programming concepts as intellectual exercises to be performed whilst looking down your nose at coders who simply can't comprehend the beauty of Lambda expressions. Now this video isn't really about the nuances of functional programming and its usefulness or not usefulness. This is just a video about one specific thing I did recently, a thing that was really just an abstraction that felt natural to make in the circumstance, but it was also the functional programming concept of currying. So I figured, hey, I'll make a video about how this is what currying is. So this was the situation basically. I have a state object and I have some observables that need to modify this state object. So the natural step here is to subscribe to these observables and update the state object when they emit values. That results in code that looks like this. Now the Angular users in my audience might think, why imperatively update the state object like this at all? The state could just be an observable itself derived from these other observables and that would be far more declarative. This is generally what I would do, but in this case I'm not using Angular and these state values are being read on an update loop within a game engine. Now this is code I just cannot abide. It makes me deeply unhappy to write and look at, and so I knew I needed an abstraction here. In fact, how sad looking at a piece of code makes me is probably a decent gauge of how necessary an abstraction is. So let's go with abstraction step one. Rather than typing out all of these subscribes manually, when all they are doing is just setting values on a particular property in the object, I can abstract that out into a function that looks like this. I'm using generics here to make this generically useful elsewhere. Uh, this way I can supply any kind of state object and get type safety. But you could forego all of this TypeScript generic stuff if you want, it's not really relevant to currying. With this helper function in place, we could use it like this. This is not currying, but we get most of the benefits already here. It's less code to write, and we can also enforce supplying a destroy stream to make sure our observable actually gets unsubscribed at some point. Now let's make things a bit spicier with some currying. So you can probably see the inefficiency here. We're supplying these same arguments over and over. This is where currying can be useful. Instead of passing all of the arguments every time, we can create a function that handles supplying those arguments for us. We just call this function once to create our state connector. This will handle supplying the arguments we already have up front to our function, and it will return us a function that expects the remaining arguments that we haven't supplied, the ones that are going to change based on whatever observable we're hooking up. So then that gives us the final code that looks like this which is now a lot less junk to type. The file is cleaner, shorter, and thus easier to read. And we also still get the benefit of making sure the destroy notifier is passed in for all observable subscriptions. This approach is actually very similar to the connect we have in ng extension. If anybody is interested in checking out a more comprehensive approach to this sort of thing, especially in the context of Angular. If you've been making use of currying in your code, drop a comment and tell us about it. And if you enjoyed the video, like or subscribe before you go will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you back here again.